going on guys? D Rose Outdoors here and today I am reviewing both decoy clubs new full body Jeeps. Um, so far from what I can see I really like these decoys. They're really lightweight and they have this cool snake has this little nub on it and you just put it right here through the decoy Pop it in, and that's all it is. You can stick her in the ground, and she's done. And we have a little bit of wind, and it adds movement to the decoy. I like it a lot. Um, the way that these are shipped, they come folded like this. So when you uh, get them through the mail, you have to put your hand through the hole and you can pop them out. And I found with the feeders right here, it's really hard to get. So I've been letting these sit out in the sun. So it uh, makes the plastic softer and it's easier to pop out. Um, if they still don't come out, you can take a hair dryer and you can uh, blow hot air through this hole and it will make that plastic softer and you can get all the creases out. I mean I just opened these up so I'm letting them warm up but overall I really like them. They're lightweight. They come with a flocked head and a flocked tail which I really like and they also have these tail loops where you can um, add a little rope to the end of the decoy and you can carry them in and out through the by the tail and use them kind of like a texas rig all right so here's the box that they come in and as you can see there's six geese in here and it's relatively small open her up So when you first open up your box, they'll kind of come like this. Every goose is wrapped individually, and as you can see, they're all folded up. So I'll just take off the plastic. Like that. have a stake and also at the end of these stakes it's tapered so it goes in the ground easier and I believe these are carbon fiber uh, don't quote me on that but they're flexible and they're very light so I got my folded decoy and like I said earlier see all you have to do is push them out and try to get all the lumps out that you can and sometimes they go back in, but uh, once you get it heated and the um, plastic uh, goes back to its original mold, then you shouldn't have to worry about these creases anymore. This decoy is super light. Like, this is the lightest decoy I've probably ever held. And then there's stakes at the bottom. They're already made up for you. And you pop them in, and that's it. In one box you get two actives and four feeders. Um, I really like these decoys. I think they look good. Um, for six decoys, um, this pack right here is $99 and free shipping because the they're so lightweight and they can compact them. Um, I will be 
right back and I'm gonna get the drone out and see what they look like from the sky. All right, um, as I approach the decoys, I'm at 15 feet. Um, right here in front of us is the bulk decoy club. In the back is a dive bombs and to the left is actual uh, Higdon full bodies. Um, I'm gonna let you guys tell me which ones look better from these different heights. So please drop a comment down below. Um, I wanted to see um, what they all look like compared to each other because I want to know what I want to keep buying. So now I'm going to move up to 30 feet. Um, I'll try to give you guys different heights so you can see the difference. Um, again, the bulk decoy clubs right here in front of us. Silhouettes are coming around right here on the right, and the f full bodies are on top. There's only six. So I did, there's 18 bulk decoy club, and there is 18 silhouettes. And I only had six full bodies at the moment, so I had to make do. Um, like I said, drop a comment down below to me what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Please leave a like and a comment. Um, check out Ducks Waterfowl. They have great gear. And thanks for watching.